Welcome to another video on car maintenance on Mike's channel and today we're doing the Pathfinder. We do the Pathfinder a lot, don't we? Yeah, it's because it's what I'm driving. Okay, so spark plugs. Spark plugs go like 100,000 miles now. Uh, this iridium, you know, all this new technology, right? So I got 112,000 on this set of plugs and I'm going to do them. Now this is really a lot of fun. I've done plugs on my cars in the past never had to pull the intake manifold just to do plugs. Hey, let's take a look. There you go. That's what it looks like with the intake manifold off. There's your intake right there. And there are those three beautiful coil packs hiding the spark plugs. Oh, those are easy to get to now, aren't they? Now that this thing is out of the way, this is it right here. Up and out of the way. This is the intake sitting on the side. So what did I have to do to get this out? Well, there are a number of connections in the back. You need to be able to reach your hands back here. Remember I told you I had to take off that electrical box in order to get at this one? Well, it turns out it's not the only one. Let me tell you what your nemesis is going to be. This is an, this is an O2 sensor that goes to the exhaust. All right. This O2 sensor wire actually clips on the back of the intake. What is that stupid clip? It's over here on the other side. There's a clip, or here it is. There's a clip. This is the back. This is the back of the uh, of the intake. Here's the front. I remember seeing this earlier? And I told you I could leave all this stuff attached, and it turns out I, I, I was correct. All this could stay on here. It moves with it. Um, this little clip right here is in the back, and you could barely see it. And that O2 sensor wire clips in right here. This holds it in place. You've got to take this wire out from this clip in order to get this thing out. What a pain in the ass. All right, so here's that O2 sensor wire right here. You got to disconnect that. All right, this connects to the back of the intake. There's another tube here, comes out of here, and also connects to the back of the intake. It's right here. So you've got a tube that connects here and a tube here, and those have to be disconnected. And you've got this O2 sensor wire here that needs to be unclipped before you'll be able to get this thing out. What a pain in the butt. So to even reach those, to reach those, you have to, you have to remove the electrical box on the passenger side and remove the bracket so you can get your arm in there. You gotta get your arm in there with a pair of pliers so you can move those uh, move those clips that hold these on okay in addition to that in order to get around the other side I removed I had to remove the the uh, the brake fluid remove the the uh, the brake fluid okay the brake fluid and the, the bracket that holds that on so, so I, mean, I mean it's just a couple screws they go in, can you see it right here? There's a screw here and a screw here, right? I mean, uh, you know, whatever, a screw bolt, whatever. So, you know, that had to come out. So in order to reach my hand in all the way, I had to take the top off the air cleaner, all right? So I had to disconnect the, the, the air cleaner and take that off. So here, here are the parts down here. Get the top of the air cleaner over here. Got the air intake, basically the ram or whatever you want to call it, air ram, right here, right? And then the connection between the air filter and the uh, throttle body. All right, so it's really, it's really three major pieces that come out, and then a couple brackets that you have to take off. And then why is this up here? There is one, oh, uh, there's, another, there's another hose down here. There's another hose down here, I'm gonna have to show you when I put this back together. I'll show you the other hose. And then there is one small air line that I just, I didn't want to disconnect it. It wasn't moving and I hate to mess with, with uh, anything that has to do with vacuum. Because once you get a hole in that line, even a small, tiny little hole or crack, forget it, it's over. So I didn't want to mess with any vacuum lines. Much as I could, uh, I did as little as possible. As little as possible gets me here. My intake is off. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take these three spark plugs and replace them and then put this all back together. 
Okay, so this is definitely not for the faint of heart. You have to be hardcore mechanic. You want to take this apart because this is not for someone who maybe does an oil change once in a while. This is for someone who's really going to get in there and figure this out. There are lots of connections and uh, it took a little bit of doing. This takes tremendous patience um, to do this. So you're willing to save yourself like 400 bucks to do it yourself and you've got some tools and you've got some patience, go for it. Absolutely go for it. But if you've got no patience to take the time to figure this out, you're lucky you've got this video to help you figure this out. I didn't have a video when I started. I did this on my own. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I cleaned up the area around the intake where the gasket will seal. And I've taken, these are shop towels. These are, uh, so they're, they're like low lint. You know, these are, these are good. So these are two clean shop towels that I use. And you know, you can just push it over the screw hole over the bolt here. And you don't want to drop anything in the intake. You don't want to drop dirt, debris. You certainly don't want to drop your tools in there. You drop a tool in there, kiss it goodbye, kiss your engine goodbye. So I've covered the intake to protect that. And now I'll go ahead and take out those spark plugs. Uh, I showed you the beginning of the video when I was doing the front, what it looked like, how to take them out to disconnect the, disconnect the electrical connections first, and then take the coil pack out. So I'm not going to show you all that again. You've already seen it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll put all this back together. Okay, important note about these NGK plugs. These are Iridium IX plugs that I got. They say in the computer that they are pre-gapped at 0.044. Well, knowing better, I opened them up. You're going to need one of these. Where did I get this one from? Auto light. All right. These plugs actually were, most of them, I've checked them all already, most of them were gapped at 0.041 or 0.042. Not 044 like they say in the computer. Now the manufacturer recommends 0.043. So I'm going 0.043 on the Iridium IX. And until I know otherwise, you probably should do the same since that's what the manufacturer suggests. 